Terima kasih Anda masih bersama kami di CNN Indonesia Newsroom. Langsung saja kami ajak Anda untuk memantau kondisi terkini di Lviv, Ukraina. Joining us now live from Lviv, CNN Correspondent International Atika Schubert. Halo Atika, tell us how is the current situation from where you are right now? Did you see uh, did you see here uh, about the explosion there? Yeah, well, we had a series of air raid sirens early this morning, and this has been happening every day for the last three days since the beginning of the invasion. And uh, what it is is usually a signal that they're incoming missiles. So far, we know of two missile strikes outside of the city of Lviv, not in the city center, fortunately. Uh, they seem to be targeting airfields used by the Ukrainian military. One of them is about 100 kilometers away from here. Um, but it's keeping the city on edge. Otherwise, this is still the safest place in the country. And this is why uh, we're seeing thousands of people coming here from the capital city of Kiev and from other cities where there is ongoing fighting. I was at the train station earlier and is absolutely jammed with people, uh, with mostly with a lot of women, with their children, and often their household pets as well, fleeing the fighting. I've also saw a number of families where the fathers were coming with their wives and children, dropping them off at the train station uh, to head to the border, and then getting in their car and returning here uh, in order to sign up and volunteer to join the fighting. So it is calm here, but it is still very much a city on edge. Speaking about the situation, air raid sirens have been sounded in Lviv. Uh, where do Lviv people seek shelter? Uh, what's supposed to happen is when an air raid siren goes off, you're supposed to seek shelter in a basement. We have a basement in our hotel. Uh, not everybody has a basement in their home, however, or if they're out on the street. So what they've done is they've designated churches, which often do have basements, as shelter places for people to go. Also, if there are any underground stations, they're uh, requested to go there if they hear an air raid siren. There are a few other uh, security provisions that have been put in place. There is now a curfew here from 10 p.m. until 6 a.m., and it's lights out, meaning that no lights should be lit after that time. And that's a measure of preventative security to try and prevent anyone from being targeted uh, with a strike. In addition to that, uh, military has now set up checkpoints outside of uh, Lviv in order to keep an eye on who is coming and going from the city. Uh, so, again, even though this is the safest part of the country, it's still on edge, and you still very much feel that this is um, a country at war. But, uh, uh, based on our information, Ukrainian President Volodymyr uh, Zelensky said Russian forces are closing in on Kyiv and fencing on the capital from the north and the east. Uh, what could happen next? Well, you know, it's really interesting because yesterday Russian troops had managed to get as far as the northern district of the city. But it appears they met very stiff resistance, perhaps uh, the Ukrainian military and residents fighting back much more strongly than the Russian offensive had predicted. They didn't seem to make much progress. This morning, uh, the Ukrainian president put out a video message showing him in, on the streets of Kiev, the capital city, saying, we have survived the night and we continue to fight. Uh, so it's clear that sort of defiance is what's driving a lot of the resistance uh, to Russian troops coming in. The question is, how long can the capital city hold out? Uh, we now understand from our team in Kiev that Russian troops have been able to nearly surround the city. Uh, and what will happen to the government once uh, the, the entire capital is encircled? There have been calls by some overseas, particularly the United States and Britain, uh, for uh, President Zelensky to leave if he needs. They have offered to bring him here to Lviv for safety, but he so far has rebuffed all of their offers, saying uh, the fight is here. I am in need of ammunition, not a ride. That's according to the Ukrainian government. So uh, the question we'll be looking at today is how the city, the capital city of Kiev will survive. Okay, thank you, Atika Subert, for your report from Lviv. Stay safe. Thank you.